What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a video like this one. Here you go, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, I forgot myself. That is one ugly man. I'm going to teach you how to film and edit a video like this using KineMaster. Now before we begin, when you film this, there are three important notes. One, shoot this on a tripod because when it comes to editing, you need to make sure both of your scenes are shot in the exact same way and the exact same spot. Number two, if you want both your characters to interact with the same object, you need to shoot it strategically. In this case, I had the first character throw the almonds and then I made sure I didn't touch it and then I went and filmed immediately the second part of it of me picking it up. So that way I picked it up in the exact same spot that it lands. And three, you want to shoot this in one complete take. I do it in one long take because I don't want to hit stop and record again and risk moving the camera and messing up the shot. So as you can see, I had my first character throw down the almonds, and then I didn't hit stop, I went, I changed, and I sat down and did the second part of the video, all in one take. And now that we have our footage, we can begin editing. Alright, once inside KineMaster, we're going to create a new project, 16x9, and we're going to go into our media and click on the folder and then the file of the video you want to bring in. Once in, we're just going to start trimming the beginning and the end. So we're going to scroll through until I can find the beginning where I want the video to start. We're going to click on the clip, click on scissors, and trim to left of playhead. And since we shot both clips in one long take, I'm just going to find the end of the first clip, do the same thing, scissors, and split at playhead. So now we have our second clip, and I'm going to go find the very beginning of the second part of the clip, trim to left the playhead. So now I have both my clips, my first part and my second. But what I want to do now is click on the second part and duplicate as layer. Now I'm going to bring that layer over underneath the first one and we can go ahead and delete the second video. Now we can click and drag the video so they both start at the same time. Let's go ahead and click on the layer video and you can click on the split screen icon at the top and we're going to scale it up. And I want to make sure that it is full screen, so I'm going to click full screen and off. And they both look the same. Now with our layer selected, we're going to click on cropping. And we're going to crop it in so that now both of our characters are shown at the same time. As you can see, there is a harsh line that separates the two videos. So we're going to fix that and make it look nice. We're going to go back to our cropping, turn on the mask, and we're going to feather it. Do what's best for your video. For mine, I brought it all the way up to 50 and now that line is gone. However, because we did a masking tool, it also masked on the left side. So as you can see right here, it masked the left side as well. Now we're gonna take care of that at the end of the video. All right, so our video is looking good. Obviously we have to crop the bag out, otherwise he's just grabbing it from the air and it looks weird. So right now I'm scrubbing through and I'm finding the exact moment that the bag has been thrown, but before the moment that I reach out to grab it. This is a good time to crop it and to cut it. Once I found that moment, I'm going to click on the trim and split it playhead. Now with the second video selected, the bag's already been thrown, and because we didn't move it, I can now move the crop tool all the way to the left, and it won't make a difference because it's the exact same spot. So now we can click play to double check, and our character reaches for the bag and pulls it. And because we didn't move the bag and we did it in one shot, it looks seamless. Now, we have multiple clips going on now, and we don't want too much audio happening. So what I'm going to do is raise the clips that I want to be heard. For example, when the bag is thrown, I want to hear the noise of the bag hitting the couch. So I'm going to go through and do that for the rest of the clips, decide which ones to bring up, which ones to bring down. I'm also going to do a cut right here, because after this moment, I want it to get quieter. Now I'm going through the rest of the video, and I'm making cuts and changing the audio levels. And finally, we're going to scrub through to where we want our video to end. Click on the main video, trim, and trim to right of playhead. So the last thing we need to do is fix the masking issue on the left from earlier. To me, the fastest way is just to export it and then bring it back in. So to do that, we're going to go back to the main menu, click on the video we're editing, share, and I like to export on the highest quality. Once it's done exporting, we can head back to the main menu and we're going to create a new project, 16 by 9 And now we're going to bring in the same video that we just exported. 
So now it's one layer and easy to work with. We can scale the whole video up and we're going to get rid of that excess mask on the side. With the video selected, we're going to click on the cropping icon, click on the equal sign so that we affect the whole video as one and we don't do any zoom ins or zoom outs accidentally. And with our two fingers, we're just going to zoom in slightly, just enough to get rid of that excess mask on the side. And if we click play, we can see now that we've taken care of that issue and our video looks perfect. And you can go ahead and export this video now. And that's how I did the twin video. Now obviously there's many different ways you can use this effect and these tools. So if you want to make a twin, a clone, anything like that, go ahead, experiment with it, and try out your own version. Thanks for watching.